that artists used computers as machines and internet as a technology which makes it possible an intellectual debate everyone with everyone around the globe. NetArt never wanted to be an object of consumation or popular, popular culture. We used technologies in the way they are. We were trying to unwill technologies not to cover them with some user-friendly or human-friendly interfaces. So aesthetic of NetArt projects were a kind of an opposition to classic web design, corporate web design, which appeared at the time. Internet was actually an academic network, so it wasn't about consumption, about fun, about uh, being fine designed, but rather about the content. So NetArt projects often look weird, awkward, uh, unpleasant, uh, ugly, and it is all done with a purpose. in an attitude that we understand machines, we understand technologies and we don't want to pretend that is something very nice or human. We wanted to show that machine is a machine. NetArt was in fact an opposition to aesthetization consumation and popular art culture. NetArt always tried to be different, to be shocking, to be surprising, to be something else than uh, other things around us. NetArt projects often looked like uh, computer code or some errors or something that's deep inside a machine. We loved errors, especially the 404 error, the file not found error, which appears if we want if we enter an address of a website which doesn't exist. Websites, websites are often, especially because of aggressive ads, the blinking stuff uh, which wants our attention, uh, are websites often very aggressive and uh, ugly. And uh, NetArt 
right to, to express this in its own way. A part of the aesthetic experience were also the technologies available at the time. The slow internet connections, small screens, uh, slow computers, etc. etc.